you know, I'm just out here thinking, man, this is going to be one of these long messages that we just have a conversation, me and you, especially if you're going through doubt, you're going through depression, you're going through hard times. I want to just tell you, like, being transparent, <laughs> I ain't exempt from hard times, you know? Right now, we're in the middle of coronavirus, so when you watch this, we could be on the other end of it. But the point is, a lot of things change for a lot of people. A lot of people's worlds were flipped upside down, and everybody's talking about this, this physical crisis, this disease. But the main crisis is the mental health crisis. There's so many people that don't know what tomorrow is going to bring, so many people that's worried, and rightfully so. And I'm no different. But today I'm out here protecting my peace, out here running, just taking in nature. Of course, practicing my social distances for you guys that are social distance experts. But I see people out here, man, and I'm always out here and it's never this many people. And people are, you know, in guidelines, not bunched up together, but I'm seeing people walk, I'm seeing people run. I'm seeing people just at peace, you can just feel it. You can feel the peace in there, I'm seeing people fish. The parking lot, I've never seen it that crowded. And I asked myself, like, what's the difference? The difference is this situation, this hard time made people sit down. It made people focus on what really matters. It made people get back to that inner child where we used to go outside, we used to have fun. We had no worries. And the message that I want to get to you is, what's going to be the thing that you get out of your hard times, man? You know, you can just go through hard times just to go through it, and that's fine. But I think there's no purpose in that. Or you can go through your struggle and say, you know what, it might be hard, my life might change forever, it might not ever go back to normal, but I'm gonna allow this to build something inside of me that nothing else could have built. I'm gonna allow this to create something inside of me that nothing else in the world, no strength, no perfect day, no success would have created. And for you, it might be understanding who you are more in your emotions. For you, you might have this idea because now you turn off your busy life and focused on what really matters to you in a creative way. Maybe it's spending more time with your family. Whatever it is, make this your new normal. You know, I lost the NFL, I lost a lot of things in my life. And for so long, I was wanting things to go back to normal. Man, I want things to go back to normal. I wish it was this way. And that did absolutely nothing for my life because that's something that can't happen. I can't go back in the past. So I made up my mind to create a new normal in my life. I made up my mind to create something better. And so I wanna challenge you with that. What's gonna be your new normal? What's gonna be the new life? The birth that comes from this. And the thing about birth, you know, I'm not a woman, so I never went through it, but I have three kids, I see my wife go through it. The thing about birth is it's uncomfortable. You go through eight months and nine months for some of us, seven. You go through this time of uncomfortable, your body changes, your, your mindset changes, your emotions change. And then one day, on a final push or if you're having surgery, that baby comes out. And there's no greater peace in the world, no greater joy in the world than holding your child. And it makes you understand that, wow, I had to go through all that pain just to birth something beautiful. I went through all that, wilding around, just to birth something beautiful. So what's the beautiful thing that you're gonna birth? is my question to you. You might be saying, Trent, it's easier said, no, you don't understand my circumstances, you don't understand this, you don't understand that. I might not understand it, but I know how much power you have inside you. I know just how special you are. And it's up to you to believe it. You've been disqualifying yourself because comparison, because of your past failures, because of what people said about you, because of rejection, because you think you don't add up to what the world wants you to be, so you've been disqualifying yourself. So of course, when you disqualify yourself, you're never gonna run the race. Qualify yourself. Get in the starting line and go run it. And that race might be terrible. <laughs> it might be hard, you might be huffing and puffing, but as long as you keep running, you'll eventually get to that finish line. I believe in you. Now it's time for you to believe in yourself. Like I said in every single video, it all starts with you. It's rehab time. Let's get it. What's gonna be your new normal? Straight up. Hey, what's up, rehabs across the world? Trent here. Thank you for watching our new video. I hope it impacted your life. Listen, we're impacting lives all across the world. I want you to know this. It's because of you. 
It's because of you supporting the messages and sharing the messages. And speaking about sharing the messages, if this video touched your heart, if it's on your heart, please press share because I promise you this, there's somebody in the world right now that needs to watch this video. And by you pressing share, you become a hero in their life. I get messages every single day say, Trent, I had no idea what rehab time was yesterday, but my friend shared the video. I saw it on the timeline and man, did I need it. We're gonna continue to impact the world only with your help. We appreciate you. But like I tell you at the end of every single video, it all starts with you. It's rehab time. Let's get it.